today we're going to take a look at this machine. Doesn't look like much of a machine, looks like a huge brick, but it is actually a computer and uh, yeah, let's check it out. It came with this mystery package of stuff and wire. So in the front it says BOL Videograph Computer and there's some writing down here. This is supposed to be a PC. I paid 50 euros on eBay for this. So it has a little clicky clicky keyboard, which is nice. Let's put this to the side. So this is the cover for the PC and it's a keyboard and it seems to be in pretty good condition. And it's a PC keyboard. It has a screen and the speciality of this screen and pretty much why I like this is it has the right form factor and I'm planning to put, if this doesn't work and I can't fix it, I'm planning to put in um, an iPad 2 screen this time and you can put this out and you can put it the way you like. So this is a little wonky, so like this and you have a perfect screen and you plug the keyboard in and you have a good workplace. You have a brightness control here which is pretty much all there is. And if you push down you can put it somehow back in here. Yeah. It has a carrying handle which is really dirty. Hmm. We have on the side, let's see, we have uh, what seems to be a VGA card. We have a serial port, 9 pin, and a printer port, a parallel port. And the VGA card has some mouse piano on it. Um, so some dip, switch, dip switches and we have a keyboard connector down here. On the other side we have just two holes where I assume was a three and a half inch drive and a five and a quarter inch drive but it is no more. On the back side we have a type 28 sticker. It's made in Taiwan and it's 302069. We have a spot with, for what I assume should be another serial port. We have um, a switch down here, which I think is to switch between 110 and 240 volts for the power supply. And we have an on off switch and the power socket. On the bottom, there's nothing to see. So let's plug it in and see if it has actually some life in it. I don't know. It was sold as used, but not broken. Let's see what gives. Let's plug in the keyboard. Ah, like that. Oops. Okay, let's fire it up. does give some sound. I'm not sure if the screen is on. Oh, beeps. I'm not sure if the screen is on. Nope, doesn't look like it. But there seems to be something going on. We don't have a hard disk, I assume. Since all the drives are removed, I assume the hard disk is removed too. Yeah, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, maybe let's first take a look at the mystery package. It's readily. So, hmm. Let's see. Ah, okay. So these seem to be some mounting brackets or stuff. I assume for the drives. Hmm. Okay. Let's put this to the side for now because I have no use for it right now. And to open this up, we first have to unplug it. Don't want to get shocked. Here. Seems to have only three screws here, here, and here. This should theoretically yeah, lift off. 
and here we are. We have the drive cage here, which I will try to take out. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is a drive cage, so now we have at least a better look at what's inside. And this seems to be a 286. Let me strap in before I kill that machine. Because it seems to be working somehow. So here's a speaker. I assume this is a memory BIOS, which is an AMI BIOS from 1986. So we have some cards here. Um, this is the drive controller cards for the disk drive and the floppy drive, uh, the, the hard drive. We have some stuff here. So let me first get the card out, cards out of here. Hmm. Okay, I guess we have to first take out the VGA card. And that has a connector for the screen on the front. So this here somehow connects to the screen in front. So let me take that off. Okay. And here's a power connector for that. So let's take that tallest card out first, which is the I.O. card. Yeah. Okay, and this is a non-descriptive, I don't know, whatever card. BOL GmbH. Hmm. Okay, so these seem actually to be the manufacturer of this machine, not just some slapped on brand. Let's take the VGA card out, which is this beauty, OTI VGA, Oak Technologies. Not sure if this works, but the inter interesting part is, of course, this connector here, which then should power the front screen, or at least transfer the data to the front screen, which is pretty nice. I've never seen that before. And now we can hopefully get this controller cut out. Yeah. Therewith comes a whole slew of cables. And this is connected somewhere here. I assume this is a drive LED. Let's pull this cable and take the controller out. Okay, all that's left now is the screen cable, which is powered through this adapter here and the main board which resides below the power supply. And this is hanging pretty loose here and this doesn't seem to be some specific main board for this machine because it just uh, there are just 16-bit ISA slots below the power supply. So let me try to take this out somehow. Okay. Now we have that. Oh, and there's a. There is a really crusty Vata down there, which is very uncool. Ooh, that's a beauty. Doesn't seem to have done too much damage, but still, it's an ugly beast. Everything seems to be in order and I think first order of business is to cut this out but you have some some real nasty stuff over there. I think we have to take this out of the case and take a closer look. Ooh, that crustiness. Beautiful. Okay, much better. Okay, first order of business is to remove this VADA battery here, which is pretty stuck on there. So I think we are in luck. The corrosion is pretty much just in this area right here, and that should not affect the machine. I will use some vinegar to neutralize the corrosion, but for now, for our testing purposes, 
this should be sufficient. So, can take a closer look, which is uh, an AMD N80L28612 slash S from 1982, and an AMI BIOS 268 BIOS Plus from AMI 1986. Chips on here, this is from 91, 12 of, is this 12 of 91? I think it is. Yeah, so let's uh, reconnect the power supply and let's try to get an image somewhere. I will use, uh, I'm not sure if I will use this VGA card. Maybe I use another VGA card. I'll have to check if I have one. I will at least clean the contacts because they are pretty rough. Not, it's not that bad. I've seen worse. Like this. The red wires go to the outside, so I think it was like this. Yeah, that should work. Let's give it some power. Let's first see nothing explodes. Power supply is running. Machine, no idea. Ah, I disconnected the speaker, so no sound there. Okay, but it's still still alive, which is good. And the VGA cable. So nothing is plugged in except for the VGA card, which we don't know if it works. Let's see what it does. Do we get an image? Are we even... Ah, hey! Look at that! Oh, technologies. One meg of RAM. Nice! So this thing actually works! Yeah, okay, no battery. No system options. HDD controller failure. Keyboard error. Run setup utility F1 to resume. Okay, I can work with that. Let me plug in the keyboard. Uh, let me grab a disk drive to test. And uh, yeah, let's take it from there. Okay, I have this pretty precarious construction. Keyboard is connected here. I have plugged in the controller card again for the disk drive because 286 and I think 3862, the most of them don't have their own onboard floppy or hard disk controllers. I've attached a disk drive of which I'm pretty sure is a DOS drive or a PC drive. So let's fire it up again. No explosion so far, which is good. And we still get the screen, American Mega Trends. Oh. Battery state low, system options not set, display type mismatch. Okay, so let's press F1 to resume. And we get not much. So, um, control alt delete. Unsupported mode. Oh, flashy, flashy. Let's hit Dell to enter setup and diagnostics. Run setup utility. Yeah, I would, but hmm. It's another key down here. Let's try this one. Hmm. Doesn't let me go into the setup. Hmm. So how can I get into the BIOS? Okay, the board works. These cards, at least the VGA card works. I know that. Don't know if the controller card works. Don't know if the uh, serial parallel card works, but I don't care right now. Let me think. So I did try to get into the BIOS of this board, but no luck. It works. 
but I just can't figure out how to get into the BIOS. Uh, the keyboard seems to work fine too, so yeah, no idea. So what I'm going to do is I will leave the board out for now and I will take the machine or the casing and the screen and I will clean it and I will turn it into a C64SX or an SX64. Thank you for watching Retro is the New Black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share, and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.